Formula One for 2011 has rediscovered the sort of overtaking and on-track dueling that gives racing back to the racers, pushing both the drivers and their cars to the very limits of their capabilities. More spectacular racing from start to finish, along with results that hang in the balance right up to the final lap, are some of the consequences of this year's new philosophy related to the new Pirelli tires. The secret lies in the delicate balance between grip, performance, and durability. The new tires have been designed to withstand huge loads of up to 4.6 G in the corners, counteracting the centrifugal forces that constantly push the cars to the outside of the curve. Under braking, the longitudinal deceleration on each tire reaches 5 G. These are phenomenal numbers, all contained within the typical life cycle of a tire, which can be split into three distinct phases. Warm up. The initial phase is comprised of a warm-up period, completed when the tread surface reaches its target temperature. Depending upon the compound used, this is between 95 and 125 degrees centigrade, and it takes one to two laps to obtain. The whole tire is directly influenced by this heating process, not simply the tread surface. The air inside the tire expands as it begins to heat up, increasing the tire pressure in order to reach perfect rigidity and an optimal setup. Grip. The tire is now ready to offer its best possible performances in phase two. Attributes of the tire's grip are related to the directional stability and turning precision that complement the driving style of each driver. Also important is the grip throughout the corner in order to maintain the correct line. Finally, the tire provides optimal traction to put the torque from the engine onto the track in the most efficient way possible. Degradation. This is the final phase. The tread pattern has been designed to wear down progressively with a reduction of the tread depth as small parts of the tire's surface wear away while providing friction with the track. This process gradually reduces the amount of overall grip available from the tires. Tire degradation, which is quite contained in normal circumstances when the car is aerodynamically stable, increases when overtaking and while following the dirty air behind another car. The turbulence generated by the car in front reduces smoothness of the airflow and thus the aerodynamic load of the car behind, causing understeer and wheel spin. With the car sliding more, the wear rate of the tires is increased.